I went to Mexico in January to work on a project and then I got this watercolor set there. My next project this with painting these uh, ballet folklorico dancers, I, I feel like that translated perfectly. Like they have these big beautiful dresses, they're flowing and all the unintentional marks and washes and spills, like they all get to have their own voice. And so all I try to do is just facilitate a space for that, them to exist however they seem to want to. What COVID has done for my studio practice is just enhance, make me want to enhance my own voice. Stay focused on what I have always loved doing, which is making work about, about uh, where I'm from, my cultural inheritance, uh, my Mexican family background, um, where I'm from in, in the Midwest, in the US and all of these things, it just makes me want to focus more on that. I think so the first week of April, I said that it's called the Nico Art Challenge and the, that was like the hashtag or whatever. And basically it was, I just literally painted a painting and I put it up for auction or for, you know, for people to bid on, on my Instagram account and that's it. And then I just said the highest bid, we'll get the painting and then all of the proceeds will go to, towards COVID relief here in the city. I painted, you know, rural animals. I painted paintings from my culture, family, you know, things that I am passionate about. So we raised, I did seven little paintings like this size and we raised $7,000 in like a week. Hi everyone. Your response to the Nico Art Challenge has been incredible. You've raised $7,000 in seven days, all of which will be donated to newyorkcares.org in support of coronavirus relief here in New York City. When, when a disaster like COVID happens, I feel like that's the best use of our skills and our talents and our passion is to keep living life through our passion and then that'll help us find a way to contribute to the problem, to, to find a resolution. As long as everybody keeps being the best version of themselves, we can only expect good outcomes.